All right, guys, how's it going? Happy Friday, Ricky Bobby here. And uh, I told myself for 2021 that we do things a little bit differently, add a little bit different styles of videos. But anyway, welcome to the Waterbox 65.4, brand new model on the market, awesome. In total, if you do the math, it's 71 gallons to the top. Obviously, we're a little bit lower. They market it as a 65, but it's actually more over 66 gallons. So anyway, we saw part one of the video of putting the cabinet together, leveling it, getting this bad boy full. As you can see, we have uh, 40 pounds of oregano in here. Tank has been running for three days. Water is 78 to 79 degrees on the Inkbird. Running two Eheim Jagger heaters, filter socks at the moment, CHA, Synchra, Quiet uh, 2.0. So anyway, today's the big day. pH is good. Everything is great. I think we're at 8.1 pH. So uh, salinity is at 1.25, which we're going to keep. So today, my local fish store, uh, the Tropical Fish Room in Brantford, awesome people there. Thank you so much, everybody. They brought me in Fritz Zyme 9. Don't see it very often in Canada, but they brought it in special for me. And basically what it is, it's a live nitrifying bacteria. And it's only good for so long. This one has to be used by uh, October. So it's actually live bacteria. This is number nine. Number nine is for salt water. Number seven is for fresh water. So this bottle, which is massive, believe it or not, is for 80 gallons only. So we are gonna use over three quarters of this bottle. And what we are gonna do is we are going to give it a good shake, if I can even do that. And basically what the directions are is that a new system is half a cup for five gallons. We know this whole bottle treats 80. So what we're going to do, if I can even get this thing going here, is we are going to start putting this bad boy in. You can see how cloudy it really is. It's, it's look at that. We're going to put it right into the, into the uh, outlets here. And it's even safe at a 10 times plus dosage. So if I put the whole bottle in, we are good. However, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave this much for an emergency in case I need it for another tank. So there we go. The original live nitrifying bacteria. Fritz is one of the best in the market. Highly recommend you use this. Um, and the other thing I want to say is uh, there's a couple of places that have made this happen for me. Obviously, Tropical Fish Room in Brantford. They've been great. Got a lot of supplies and some fish from them. And also Red at uh, the Coral Reef Shop in Burlington, Ontario. A fantastic guy, great shop, beautiful corals, awesome fish. And as you guys know, I've gotten my Dory and my Flame Angels and a lot of my fish that are in quarantine from Red. So, but I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to pick this camera up. I'm going to show you what we're going to do today. So right now the bacteria is in and you can see it's a little cloudy. So we're going to give this an hour or two for it to do its thing and circulate and get through the system, yada, yada, yada. So we have four tanks down here, which is insane, right? My wife just loves it. Today's focus is going to be this tank, the Fluval 13.5. It's got a little cyano in it. Don't worry about it. I'm not even worried about it at this moment because this tank is pretty much getting shut down. So we got Marlin, Nemo, and Violet. And they have been in this tank for nine months. This tank went fallow for our 76 days with the corals and the inverts in it. And then these three fish were in QT with Copper and Prazi Pro for three months as well. This tank is perfectly... Uh, quarantine and ready to go. Corals, everything. So today what we're going to do in the second part of this video is we are going to introduce these rocks, coral, and these fish into this tank. What you're going to say, well, that's crazy. Well, Fritz Zyme 9 in the instruction says once you put the bacteria in, you have to add livestock because you want the bacteria to do its thing with ammonia, nitrites, and nitrates to keep it going. So what we're going to do as well is we're going to put an ammonia badge in here. We're also going to test for ammonia and nitrite every day just to make sure everything's fine. And But because this tank is so large, these little three fish here, I'm probably pretty sure we're not going to have a big, big issue uh, with uh, waste but in bio load, but we are going to check anyway. So as you can tell, you knew I was getting ready to get rid of this tank or at least change it because uh, I let it go, but that's fine. Everything's doing great. Look at the corals, guys. These all started off as three polyps when I bought them nine months ago. Lepto, a little SPS, Monipora, Duncan, 
GSP, pulsing Xenia. So awesome, we're ready to go. And uh, eventually these guys will all be ready to go in there, but not today. They still have another couple weeks left of observation. So, all right guys, keep with me here and uh, we'll keep her going. Okay, so here we go guys. This took me actually a lot longer than I thought. We had a couple hiccups along the way and um, that's what happens when you're doing this kind of thing. So we took everything from the Fluvel 13.5, which looks absolutely horrible right now, which is fine. There's nothing in there but one snail and a whole bunch of bristle worms that I was completely surprised about. So stupid me, I went to dip these live rocks. <clears throat> Obviously there's bacteria on them, but there's so much bacteria in this tank now and substrate that I just said, you know what? I wanna get all the bristle worms off that I can. So stupid me did not realize Violet, my orchid dotty back was in one of the rocks. Put her in the dip and she came out and I scooped her out with the net and she's not too happy with me right now. So I hope everything is okay. That was a stupid, stupid thing to do. Guys, you know what? Don't dip your live rock. That was dumb because sometimes there's things in there that you wanna keep. So anyway, hopefully she's okay. She went into her hiding spot. I reconstructed her exact same environment she had before where she has a little tunnel. And as you can see, Mr. Duncan pissed off. Uh, zoanthids, this one's up, oh, pissed off. The uh, lepto kind of pissed. So that's except expected. New environment, the zinnias are pulsing, but they got dipped. So uh, my GSP, I just threw it there for now. The, the, the crabs are going nuts. They don't know what to do with their lives right now. But there's Marlin, <clears throat> my black Darwin Ocellaris, Captain Bread, and there's Nemo. Hey buddy, come on and see me. These things did not know what was going on when I put them in here. They were completely blown away. Um, and just remember guys, everything in this tank that you see, the coral, the rock, the fish, have been quarantined. Everything, there's zero disease. Everything is perfect, uh, should be perfect. So I was able to put them in this tank right away after putting in our Fritz Zyme 9 bottled bacteria. So and you're gonna wonder about the lid. Uh, Kraken, uh, a company from the States got a hold of me today and they wanna make me a lid, a custom lid for this tank. Uh, it might even be one of the first ones out there. I'm not sure, but uh, we're gonna make it happen. And uh, tonight we're actually gonna put just a piece of mesh on here, just for fun, just to keep uh, the fish happy and not from jumping, just in case they get scared. Uh, so yes, there will be a lid on this tank as well. So can't wait to show you guys what's coming up in the future. All these uh, coral right here, they're all gonna be placed. And all this live rock here in the quarantine tank is gonna be right to the left of this rock and I'm gonna mimic everybody's habitat that they've been living in in quarantine and we will see how it works. So I'm excited about that. So I'll do an update soon. This is part two of the Waterbox 65.4 build series, the first one on YouTube. Hope you guys enjoy it. If there's anything you wanna see, let me know. And part three is coming very shortly. Thank you so much.